Hello, I'm John, and welcome to the third part of Getting Started with Quizzes. Now that you have your activity, it's time to actually share it with your students. You can assign for students to play in their own time, hit Start Now to play live, or if you're not ready to host just yet, you can click on Preview to see a simple version of how it would look for your students. I'm going to go ahead and tap on Start Now. With six different live modes, there are so many ways for you to engage your students. Classic mode, mastery peak, instructor paste, test mode, team mode, and even a paper mode. To find out more about any of these activity styles, you can very simply click where it says see how it works in the top right hand corner, where you will then be met with a wonderful animation that looks just like the one on your screen now. For now, we're going to stick with classic mode. Once I've customized the in-game settings, all that I need to do is tap at the bottom of the screen where it says Start. Once that's done, you'll be taken to the dashboard and that's where you can share the game code and link in a variety of ways with your students to join the game. For live, you can even see your students' performance in real time on your dashboard. It really is just as easy to share your quizzes as an asynchronous activity, by hitting assign and choosing appropriate settings I would like, I can then scroll down with, with one tap, it's then ready to share with my students. Much the same as with live mode, I can save with a QR, I can share via Classroom or even Microsoft Teams. We take learning and supporting each of your students very seriously, and that's why we have this easy to access reporting tab available for each of your activities.